Greetings and welcome. Okay, this next uh, topic we're going to work on is for, for Wing Chun. And it's for measuring connected mass. So you can measure how much weight, how much mass are you getting onto your hands when you throw a strike. And this is really important because force is mass times acceleration. So if you want to connect your mass, you, you have to be able to measure it. And then you have to get your acceleration, get your mass to move as a wave. So what we're going to do is just get a set of uh, bathroom scales, not the digital type, but the old analog spring-loaded type. Uh, get some Velcro, Velcro it onto the wall. The Velcro is a, a, a sticky double-sided thing on it. Stick it on the wall, put your fist on the, uh, on the Velcro, no, sorry, on the, on, the, on the bathroom scales, and, uh, and press in. So put about 5 or 10 kilos of your body weight onto your hand and uh, measure it on the bathroom scales. Now from there, relax all the muscles, open the joints a little bit, and then stretch a little bit more of your body weight onto it. And measure the connected line between your hand, uh, the contact point in the hand and the ground. And then gently open the joints and relax and hang the muscles. Uh, and vital breathe. So we go through this three steps. Your vital breathing is feeling a life force, you're opening your joints and you're relaxing and hanging the muscles. So as you go through this, this three-step process uh, and you cycle, you'll reach a point where you hit the maximum amount of mass that you can connect and it feels like your muscles are starting to engage. Then you need to relax and hang the muscles so it doesn't overactivate. Stretch the joint open, vital breathe and you'll get more mass. And next to the, the scales you have on the, um, uh, on, on the wall, uh, you want to have a whiteboard and each time you train you want to write down your best um, uh, your best or your highest score the highest amount of mass that you can connect on to, onto your, your knuckles as you go through this process of uh, writing down each day how much mass connect it as a percentage of your body weight so if you weigh 100 kilos and you can put 10 kilos there you're running at 10 percent efficiency and then the next day you might be 11 or 12% efficiency and the day after 15%. And then as you graph your progress you're going to notice a waveform uh, of increasing and decreasing in your, in your efficiency of what you're doing. So, so what this will do is um, it'll give you a measurable tangible way of knowing how much connected mass there is on your knuckles. Once you get the gist of that uh, you can move into putting an elbow onto the, onto the bathroom scales putting your shoulder onto it, doing a knife hand, a palm, you know, the finger techniques and so forth, and start measuring the amounts of mass that you're able to get through different hand shapes. And whatever tools you want to use, whatever weapons you want to, you want to build for your Wing Chun or whatever internal martial art you're working on, you, you will be looking at how to, how to get that shape in, how to connect your structure, hang and open the joint, hang the muscle, tune into feeling the life force and get more mass connected. When you do the throwing exercise, the inward and outward throwing exercises, you'll find that you'll naturally get, get that amount of mass connecting onto your hand. So if you're doing an inward movement where you're, you're pulling into your core and you've been putting your knife hand on the bathroom scales every day, you'll find that that, that energy shooting back into your core when you go magnetic and throw into yourself will start amplifying so you'll build more force back into yourself and by tightening the drum skin uh, you'll find that you'll connect more mass you'll get more acceleration and more connection through the different shapes the reason why I suggest putting velcro on the on the wall to attach your bathroom scales is that um, you may have low hand techniques you want to move the height of the scales up and down uh, to suit the movement that you're working on and uh, to make it as adjustable and flexible as possible is, uh, is a huge advantage. Okay, so I start graphing your progress there and um, uh, you'll notice it'll take about a month to get a substantial amount of change and if you're doing this on a regular basis it'll take about one year before you get full connected mass. That means your body weight is arriving on the bathroom scales through your knuckles. Now if, you're, if you weigh 100 kilos and you touch someone with 100 kilos with just a small amount of acceleration, um, you're going to break them. It's a huge amount of power. So this is a very definitive way of measuring your mass, a very definitive way of amplifying your power. So this should be a conjunction with the throwing exercises, the rebounding force exercises, the shunting exercises, and so forth. 
and uh, you adapt it and individualize it for the martial art that you're doing. Okay, we'll hope that helps with, uh, with your training. Thanks for your time, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.